Hello, everyone. Welcome back. So it says flat out on the floor, and we're doing some auction things. So I got some orders over there. Those would be, there's two taco stack orders. If you guys haven't already, first link description down below. Got a lot of merchandise back in stock. Got about a week ago. Uh, ships before the holidays. And some people have asked me, this guy, I think it's actually this brand or whatever. It's called Victor La. Uh, it's like the Crosley model. And uh, does it work? So it's kind of weird. I actually got it to work. It took me about 15 to 20 minutes to work on it. But I did figure out how to make it work. It's kind of jacked up a little bit. It's like you turn it on and then just turns off immediately. So you have to start like smashing all these buttons. And eventually you'll, you'll get it. Uh, this top piece, a little loose. I think uh, something got screwed up there. But I did get it to work. It does play records. And I'll tell you right now, I'm very, very shocked about how many records out there just are totally scratched up that they're useless. I had a bunch of records that I got at auctions that I tried testing. Then my own personal collection of like records that, you know, I know the band. Uh, I might know a couple songs on the album. So I put those aside and been kind of collecting them for the past two or three years. And I played some of them and the songs work fine. Beach Boys are number one. Beach Boys are one of them. So I did find this album in a box slot. Uh, probably like i don't know probably a year ago or two years ago i did end up putting that in there and it did work but i can't show you guys because the video will get copyrighted so that's that but i know a lot of people do ask updates about things and that does work so got that to work and it's pretty cool i'm going to end up keeping that salsa is going to guard the fort and we're going to auctions so we're going to an off-site estate auction hopefully going to buy some treasure it's uh it's fall middle late November here so we'll see what happens Let's try to find some treasure let's do it It's nothing but tools. I'm very, very shocked. I thought there would be housewares and stuff like that. So I just left the auction, and then I just left the thrift store. Uh, I did not find anything at the thrift store here. The auction was kind of enticing, well, in a way. However, all the tool guys, the guys who buy tools, you know, the people who buy the Snap-on, the Mako, that guy was there and sells at the flea market, also sells on eBay. Uh, and then probably three or four, like, the junk tool guys from the flea market were there. It's like, what's that scratching noise? That's this tree. Um... But yeah, so I wasn't going to stick around there because I know exactly what happens every single time you stick around auction like that is either you overpay or you just don't get anything. So regardless, I just knew it was going to just be terrible. Uh, I do know there's a rummage sale, a bag sale going on later today. So we're going to stop off at that. And then right now we're going to go to this mall down the road, which are doing like this huge community. It's probably not good on the window. 
and they're doing like a huge community yard sale so we'll stop by there and see if there's anything worth picking up but we'll turn today into some sort of adventure serious might be that serious I don't know what's going on check the lottery ticket gotta check the lotto ticket Got myself some interesting hats here. I'll show you guys in a bit. Watch your ranges. I'm working my way to you. <laughs> All right, I've done a couple of laps. That surprisingly, there's a lot of people selling older hats, but a lot of people are pretty pricey with their. Their hats are asking like 10 15 a piece, which is kind of expensive for a rubbish sale or a yard sale. There's also a lot of newer stuff here kids' clothes, baby clothes. Two dollars for this older skateboard. It's kind of cool. All right, so I left that. I got some cool things. I'll show you guys here in a bit. But now at this rummage sale, they no, oh, they don't have anything down there. That's interesting. What's going on here, bud? What are you doing? All right, so this is a bag sale. It happens in about 20 minutes. They used to have a bunch of stuff down there. I I came, I'm late to this. Usually I come in the morning. I don't come to the bag sale. I think I did last year or in the spring. This probably would be best if, oh, somebody's just not gonna be happy. Uh, the bag sale I think starts in 20 minutes people do line up out here for the bag sale I think it says what $4 well that's great because I have $3 in a single I might have some change here um, but yeah uh, we're, we're here I did grab some things at the, the yard sale in case people are interested I paid a whopping $2 for this skateboard doesn't have a name it's I think pretty much homemade but it's in really good shape it's in oak uh, I think it was kind of neat I'm going to bring this to Lambertville whenever I, I sell there so they had five dollars on it but they also had a two dollar sticker over here so I paid two bucks for this I don't know what I'd ask for it maybe 10 or 15 
And then I picked up some hat, which this place had a ton of hats at. A ton of hats. There's one bag of, there's one bin of hats. And I was kind of like, you know what? Everyone's going in. Everyone's running in there, but the bag sale doesn't start. This person brought their own bag. So, um, there was a ton of hat. Oh. There were a ton of hats there. She wanted two bucks a piece. There were a lot of other people selling hats, but a lot of people were asking like five or ten dollars for one hat. And they were in very similar condition to these. The problem that I had with the bin of hats, the reason why I didn't buy them all, were a lot of them were like this, which you can see is flat like a pancake, which I call pancaked. And what happens is somebody probably put on their seat, like I put my hat on my seat, and then someone sat on it. Or they just poorly uh, put it away poorly. So we have this one USA World Cup hat snapback from 1994, which is really, really cool. Uh, I got this one because it's from 1987. I think there are a lot of people out there who collect the California raisins, the collectibles. I don't know if it's really popular anymore, but I do remember the little raisin figures. And then I got this one, which I've sold a ton of these Bart, Sis Bart Simpson hats. I did not check the snaps on the back on these hats. There were a lot there from the 80s and a lot there from the early 90s. But like I said, a lot of them were pancaked. So I took the ones I knew would definitely sell. This one is made by Universal Incorporated. It's a nice Bart Simpson hat. Uh, 1990, radical dude. Don't have a cow, man. So very, very cool. These Bart Simpson and Simpson figures or... Yeah, I guess they have figures uh, sell very well. Homer Simpson, Bart Simpson especially, especially Bart Simpson with like Grateful Dead. Very, very hot. Uh, but I paid five bucks for this. Probably going to flip to about 50 or 60. And then I got probably about 10 to $15 on the, uh, the skateboard. So not a bad pickup. If it was up to me, I would definitely try selling there. I think there was a lot of people there who were... Uh, who were kind of new to selling, but they had stuff that people just wanted. And I think it was pretty much that time of the year where there's nothing else to do. So people like to go there and shop. I, I think in the future, I'll definitely set up. I don't know what it costs to set up there, but uh, I have a ton of stuff that would certainly be blown out there. So we'll try that probably in the spring. I think I'll, I'll probably try to set up there. You know what? I'm probably not even going to stay for the bag sale because there's really nothing here that would fit in a bag that I need. This is kind of nice. It's five dollars. Mm. Mm. This place has been pretty run through, I think. I'm leaving this. <laughs> uh, there wasn't anything really in there. There was one San Francisco 49ers jacket that I probably would have buy, but the 49ers are a very tough team to sell, even though they're really successful this year. Uh, it's been one of those teams that's just been really hard to sell. Um, people are lining up right now for the bag sale. Aside from that, I saw one hat that was stained. I didn't know if I can sell that, and all the housewares were really just like quarter, 50 cent items that were left, aside from that one vase. So I'm going to head out of here. There's no reason to wait around. It just, there wasn't anything there for me. So, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up here for today's video. It was a fun one. We got some things here. It's cool hats, cool skateboard, things like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the treasure hunt. Always a fun adventure out there. And catch up with you guys next time. Smack the like button if you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream.